Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Huck. Today I am doing the mid-year book freakout tag. I did this tag last year, around June I think, um, as a good mid-year check-in to see how my reading has been going and what more I feel like I need to read. So let's get started. The first question is the best book that I've read so far in 2019 and I hope this will not be a surprise based on my like raving about it earlier this year which will be The Binding by Bridget Collins. This is a standalone historical fantasy in a world where people can bind their memories into books and this book really explores like human nature and how something that seems so wild to us like binding a memory into a book um, is still subject to the way that people use their power. Do they use it to help and heal others or do they use it to manipulate and harm others? And this book was so captivating it just like consumed my life for a short period of time while I was reading it. I had like a book hangover after reading it like I haven't had in like years and I just I loved it. I have a full review for this that I'll link below if you would like to check out more of my thoughts on it but this one is probably going to show up throughout this tag as answers for a couple of other questions so you'll be seeing it again. The next question is the best sequel that I've read so far in 2019 and I realized with this question that I haven't read a whole lot of sequels yet this year um, but one that I will pick for this, which is sort of like relative best, I guess, um, is The Wicked King by Holly Black. Um, and this is one that's been on a lot of people's lists this year. And the reason I'm saying that this is like relative best is because The Folk of the Air is not my favorite series by Holly Black. I have been reading quite a few of her books recently and really enjoying them. Um, but the, the Cruel Prince was really only so-so for me. I thought it was kind of boring and then I almost didn't even read The Wicked King but I decided to give it a try and I did definitely enjoy The Wicked King. It was the best sequel I've read so far in the fact that it so much improved the series. Not necessarily because I thought it was like the best book but because it was really fun but also because it really brought me back into this series because I was really thinking I was gonna just DNF the series after reading The Cruel Prince um, but now I really want to read the last book. And the third question is a new 2019 release that I haven't read yet but really want to and for that I'm picking Middle Game by Seanan McGuire. This book I don't think I've even hauled this yet so I got it pretty recently but I am so excited about this. I've been hearing amazing things about it. I don't totally know what it's about um, all I know is that I think it's like an alchemist created a brother and sister named I think Roger and Dodger and they both have kind of weird powers and this alchemist is trying to turn them into gods or something like that but I have heard amazing things about it. I've heard that it's very dark and gripping and I just like so excited. This cover also has made me very excited about it so I really really want to get to this one soon. Question four is most anticipated releases for the second half of 2019 and I have so many <laughs> that I'm excited about. I actually have two videos where I've already talked about my most anticipated releases for the year and the first one was for the whole year and then the second one was for the second half of the year. I'll link both of those below but the ones that I am most most excited from those most anticipated releases are of course The Harp of Kings by Juliet Marillier. It's the first book in a new series. I don't know if it's a trilogy or how many books are going to be in it but it is another Celtic historical fantasy. It is in the same world as her Seven Water series and Blackthorn and Grimm series. Another one that I am highly anticipating is of course Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Stiefvater which is also the beginning of a new series which is the Dreamer trilogy uh, which is a spin-off from her uh, Raven Cycle, which I absolutely love. And question five is biggest disappointment so far of 2019, which for this I'm picking Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Susanna Clarke. Um, this is a historical fantasy that follows two magicians who are trying to bring magic back to England. And this one I didn't go into it with like super high expectations. I was thinking it would probably be around a 3 to 3.5 star book. I thought I would 
like it well enough but it wasn't going to be like a new favorite um but it didn't even reach that bar uh, i think i gave this like two stars or something i just couldn't stand that the plot the writing the characters but i will link below the wrap up where i talked about this one if you want more detail about why i didn't really like this book and question six is biggest surprise and i have two answers for this one is the binding by bridget collins because this one i was expecting to enjoy it i thought it sounded interesting because it is a book about books uh but i did not expect to love it as much as i did and for it to be as like all consuming as it was the other book that i want to mention is actually a whole trilogy which is the curse worker trilogy by holly black and it was just so immersive it was such a fun series this series takes place in a world like ours but in this world there are curse workers who have magic uh they have to have skin to skin contact with you but they are able to affect things like your memories or your emotions but in this world curse workers are considered criminals and so they have kind of a bit of a mafia vibe to them. Our main character comes from a family that has a long line of curse workers and he is the only one in his family who is not a curse worker, but he has his own dark and maybe criminal past, um, which he is trying to move beyond, but he gets sucked back into the world of the curse workers and his family. And this is a series that just swept me away. I was not expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. It was just such a thoroughly fun series that was just it was really solid the whole way through I just loved it so much. Question seven is favorite new author and for this I don't really have a favorite new author so far this year. Um, the only one I might say is uh, Bridget Collins but I only read one book from her so I loved this book very very much obviously um, so maybe I could call her a favorite new author but since I haven't really read anything else by her I don't know if I can really call her a favorite but definitely an author that I'm going to be keeping an eye on and trying to read more of her stuff so that maybe she will become a new favorite. Question eight is newest fictional crush, but I don't really have a new fictional crush, so we're just going to skip that one. Question nine is newest favorite character, and I have two answers for this. One is Nessa from Wolfskin by Juliet Marillier, and even though this book was a, had a bit of a rough start for me, I really loved Nessa's characters. I always love the characters of Juliet Marillier, but especially her female characters. Nessa is a priestess and has a really strong connection to magic and the land, and she is tough. She does some tough things that, like, I don't know if I would have the stomach for. Um, so I really loved her and her like strength of character. And my other newest favorite character is Fell from Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore, um, who is just a wholesome little bean and I love him. I just, I love wholesome characters and he was just so sweet and he tried so hard and I just loved him. Question 10 is a book that made you cry and I'm not a big crier at books. Like I will cry at books sometimes, but like not that often, but one book or series that always makes me cry like every time is The Hunger Games by uh, Suzanne Collins and I'm specifically holding up Catching Fire. I reread the whole trilogy this year um, but Catching Fire usually is my least favorite book in the series but this time around rereading it this is really the book that I teared up the most at um, out of all of the trilogy. Usually it is either the first or third book, but this one got me this year. And number 11 is a book that made you happy, and for this I have Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Gouchot, and this is a graphic novel about two boys that work in a bakery together and fall in love, and it was just so cute and so sweet without being like overly cutesy. Number 12 is favorite book to movie adaptation, but I don't think that I've actually seen any new book to movie adaptation so far this year, uh, so we're just gonna skip this one too. And question 13 is favorite review or video that you've made this year, and for this I'm probably gonna say my review of The Binding by Bridget Collins because I love that book so much and I think that I conveyed what I wanted to in that review and I just, I mean, I love the book and I like how the review turned out. And as I said, I will link that review video below if you would like to watch it and find out more about 
my favorite book of the year so far. <laughs> now this one's gonna get a little repetitive because the next question is most beautiful book you've bought this year and that is definitely going to be The Binding by Bridget Collins because look at it it's beautiful. But not only is it beautiful on the cover, but also inside, you can see it has these beautiful end pages, but the naked hardback is also gorgeous. It is so shiny. This is the UK edition that I got from Book Depository. I know that the US edition does not look like this under the cover, um, but this edition is so beautiful. Look at that spine. It's so pretty. This is definitely the most beautiful book that I own, and I'm so glad that I love it because I feel like there are so many books that are aesthetically beautiful, but I don't like the actual book and so then I don't want to like display that book but this one I love the book and it's gorgeous and the last question is what books do I still need to read by the end of the year and there are so many so many books that I need to read by the end of the year but I have a couple that I especially need to get to one of which is The Queen of the Blood by Sarah Beth Durst I recently got this one and I have been really excited to read it because it has a magical forest the magical forest is kind of uh, malicious and trying to kill everybody but still it sounds amazing I also need to read the whole Tawny Man trilogy this is the first book which is Fool's Errand I actually have hold on the whole trilogy here so I need to read all of these uh, because I am trying to read um, one series by Robin Hobb every year and this is the one for this year and I haven't even started it yet so I need to get going on that and although there are many many more the last one I'm going to talk about right now is Vengeful by V.E. Schwab um, last year I started reading V.E. Schwab's books and I really loved them I loved the first book to this which is Vicious and I have been meaning to read this for so long and I need to finally get around to it. So that is all for my mid-year book freakout tag. I hope all of your reading years have been going well. Let me know how they've been going so far now that we're halfway through the year. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye!